it's sweaty outside and there's like five bazillion mosquitoes. So this weekend, hi, hope you guys had a good weekend. After Trav and I went to church yesterday, we went to a thrift store on the way home and I've been looking for one of these trees again because I want to put a couple of them up this Christmas. It's a vintage one that I found at a thrift store. It's the one that you can put things in the holes, but I didn't want things in the holes, so I didn't put them in there. This lady had one in her car and I was like, Trav, I want that. You knock her down and I'll grab it. But instead of doing what my mind wanted me to do, I was like, oh, hi, little lady. Your tree is so cute. Did they have any other ones like that? And she said, not that I know of. So I was walking around in the thrift store later and I, I found this. Now, it might be the base of a tree, but I don't know. So what would Jesus do? Well, I think he might have tried to teach her a lesson for being mean. <laughs> and I looked for a tree topper when I got home for five hours. <laughs> but seriously, several times I've been like, okay, more than several. <laughs> Maybe I should have just offered her the base. Maybe she didn't see it. Maybe she didn't want it. <laughs> so now I have a tree base. Said I can find a tree for, and I met a mean lady in a thrift store. I went to the store just now, and I went back to the thrift store to see if the lady maybe left the Christmas tree and she didn't, to get some more sanders. I thought I would try a belt sander. I'm sure it's not like the industrial belt sanders because it was only like 100 bucks. I mean, not that 100 bucks isn't a lot of money, but I'm sure the ones that are like heavy duty are more. And I got this one too. <laughs> Got two new sanders. Don't tell Trav. This is a spinny one. Some of you tell me I should try this. Well, I, I mean, I've seen it, people use it before, and sometimes it leaves circular marks. But then this guy that sanded the dresser that I got off Craigslist that one time, he said to use the circular one and then the square one that I have after that to get the sanding marks out. So I thought I would try it since my elbow's killing. Me. I don't really want to get a cortisone thing in my elbow if I don't have to, because. I used to be a physical therapist assistant and usually those only last for a time and then it comes back full bore. So I'm just trying to be careful with what I'm doing. Look what else came. <laughs> My antique candle go candles from the restock. This is apple butter, their new scent that they're having. And look at this one. It's so cute. This is apple butter too. <laughs> having a restock Thursday. I'm not sure what time because they said it's a, a secret restock. I think they're trying to keep it from me. This is why I don't read directions. Know your belt sander. See figure one on page 14. I want to try out those sanders, but it's storming right now, which I love. So I'm going to work on my chair a little more. And Chester and I are going to sit at the front door and try not to let the inchworms in. This is what it's looking like so far. It's going to be so cool. I can't wait to get this wood all down to the bare bones. I have a lot of tacks to remove. They put all of these tacks the big ones, and then they have all of these tacks. I believe maybe these are all hand, hand pounded in. I don't know. Do they have tack nail guns that nail tack these old ones in? Hey, <clears throat> I want to ask all y'all to forgive my appearance. It's been a long night, as you can imagine, um, getting messages from all over Afghanistan.
Lots of you told me this stuff on the sides that I pulled off was horse hair, which looks like that. And now they took the straw from the barn and put it down here. I found a penny, three bobby pins, and a paper clip so far. A little bit of horse hair mixed in with some other stuff. I'm really tired of all these tack nails. Why did you have to use so many horse hair man or lady that did this chair? I got a lot done though. I got the front and the side on the sides. All the back side is done. I just have this and then all the little nails to take out. Which I'm probably not going to take all of them, but I want to get the icky fabric off of there. And the springs are nice. I'm going to use them.